Hello Voyagers, this is Mr. Bishop, and today what I'm going to be showing you is how to, um, using Adobe Spark, put together a video, essentially where you have your audiobook and your illustrations or photographs or video, what have you, um, all together into one video file, okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to this Adobe Spark website, which I have linked in Google Classroom. Then I'm going to go to continue with Google. Okay. Um, actually, you you guys, I think, yeah, you can click on this um, and then continue with Google. It's really like whether you do that one or the other one, it's fine. And then just click on Enterprise ID because that's a school account. It'll look for your name and you'll click on it and then you'll sign in. Okay. So then you'll get here and what you're going to want to do at this point is you're going to want to click this plus button and click on video. Okay. So, um, uh, I, I'm going to skip this cause I don't know what that's wanting me wanting from me. So there are the, these different story templates, but we're just going to start from scratch cause that's really the easiest way to do this. So I'm going to start from scratch. And so the first thing that I'm going to do, uh, so it's going to show me these tips so you can watch these if you'd like to. Um, or you can X out. So that's the first thing I'm going to do. Um, so you'll see it's a really, what I like about this um, website is it's it's pretty simple layout. So it's not overly complicated um, and you can figure it out fairly easily. So, um, so right here, you'll see this is kind of like your timetable down here. So it's kind of like PowerPoint in that you add in different slides or Google Slides show um, where you add in different slides but it'll end up being like a video once you're done. So for each slide, you can have a different layout. You can have full screen, a split screen, uh, just one caption at the bottom or title and text. So these are kind of similar. These are all, all three of these are fairly similar. The split screen is the main difference. Then there's theme too. So when you have a theme, uh, you are going to go through these and it will, switch the um, the color, it will switch the font, um, it'll switch all of that kind of stuff. So you're going to click on the one that you want and you might want to adjust these as you go if you find that you don't like it. One limitation of this software is that uh, it doesn't, like, there'll, there'll be transitions in between these slides, so it'll go whoosh or whoosh or just like a blur effect or whatever, but it's automatic based on the theme you choose. So you can't change that transition um, unless you change the uh, the theme here. Okay, so I just chose a the theme. Um, if I click resize, you can either have it as a widescreen or a square. Um, I would recommend just keeping it as widescreen because you'll fit more in that way. And then finally, you're gonna have music over here. So you have the option of adding in stuff that's already here, but what we're going to do is we're going to add in our audio file, our audio book. So I'm going to click add my music and then that's going to open up a little screen here where I can then find my, uh, my, uh, audio book file and I'm going to double click on that. And so that's just going to play the whole time. And, um, as you're, as you're putting in your writing or your pictures or all of those things, illustrations, um, you'll be able to hear that song as you're going through. So it might take a minute to add it in and that's totally fine. So if I click play here, Walking With My Thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I can hear it, okay? So the audio file is in there. So now what I want to do is on this slide, I want to, uh, I really just want to make a like a title screen, so like an introduction. So I'm gonna click this plus. You can see I can either add an icon, photo, text, or video. I'm gonna add in text. So uh, what's mine called? It's called Walking With My Thoughts. So I'm gonna say Walking With My Thoughts. Uh, a story by Mr. Bishop, okay? Now I can make this text smaller, I can make it bigger. I don't want it too small or too big. So I think probably that's good. So now um, I also can change this background back here. So my story is uh, set in a forest. So I'm gonna click the plus and photo. And then over here, I can either like, if some of you guys, so in my example, 
I might have gone up to the forest where my story takes place and taken a picture of it. And then I can upload that from my computer. Um, but if you, if you haven't done that or um, you haven't done an illustration or something that you want to put on there, you can go to frying, find, frying free photos. You can find free photos. It's kind of hard to say. Um, and so I'm going to click here, type in forest. And I don't want to do something that's too like too much going on because then it's going to be hard to read the words. So I think I'll go with kind of like this. Let's click that and see. It. Yeah, that's pretty good. I might just try one or two more. I do like that one though. Let me try this one. Okay, I like that because then it doesn't block the words at all. So there I go. So now that I have that done, I want I want this slide to play just for those first few seconds when I'm saying, walking with my thoughts, a story by Mr. Bishop. So what I'm gonna do is um, I'm going to click uh, either preview or play. So I'll press, press play so you can hear how this sounds. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. So that's pretty good. I, I probably need another second or so. So I'm gonna click here, gonna bring this up to five. Let's try it again. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really could. Okay, so it was actually a little too much time, so I'm gonna go back down to four. And you'll notice while it's playing, you'll see these trees kind of moving in. That's part of the theme. So just watch carefully. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. Okay, so now Walking I have that. Walking with my thoughts. Okay, uh, that's enough me. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click plus, and that's gonna make a new slide. So, now, this is a big uh, choice that you need to make. In your story, um, you obviously have words, right? So in your video file here, you have a few options. You could, uh, you could just put on an illustration that you drew for your story, and then people can see that illustration, and they can listen to the audio as it's playing. You could also, um, the other thing that you could do is you could have a split screen where on one side you have an illustration of yours or a photograph or a video that you took or whatever. Um, and then on the other side you have your text. And you'll see in my final video that um, that's actually what I chose to do. Because if you just, in my opinion, if you just have an illustration there and you don't have any words, then... Um, I don't know. It's just easier to focus on the story and what's being said if there's also words there. So what I have loaded up for myself today is I have my story loaded up here. So what I'm going to be able to do is just copy and paste like a paragraph at a time. It'll take me a little time, but you have a couple days for this. So I'm going to copy and paste um, a paragraph at a time and then put illustrations or pictures with that as I go through. So I'm gonna click the split screen here and see how that breaks it up into two. So on this side, I'm gonna click plus and I'm gonna do text. And since I already have this all written, all I have to do is copy this. You guys know how to copy at this point. Should know how to copy, okay? So, um, you know, right click, copy, um, control C. So click this, text. Now I'm going to uh, right click here and I'm gonna paste that in. And there are my words. It's a little big, so I'm gonna uh, lessen it and then watch, it's just gonna put this right in the center of everything. Perfect, I love it. So now I'm gonna click on plus and I'm gonna put in a photo. So if you did an illustration, you'll have needed to, and should have already done this, taken a photo of your illustration. If you did a digital piece of artwork, then you just upload that from your computer at this point. So you're gonna go to photo here, and it's gonna, see, it's still on this photo screen from before, but I don't wanna do that. I wanna go to upload photo. So I'm gonna click upload photo, and yours, your pictures would probably be in your downloads file unless you move them to a different folder. For me, I'm gonna go to desktop and go to buck artwork, and this is some of the, uh, these I, I found myself online, but that's just because I'm, I have so many things to do as a teacher. I didn't have time to actually illustrate these things. But in the ideal world for you guys, 
you'll have illustrated these or done digital artwork last Friday so that it's your own original work. So uh, for me, for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, double click this one and put it right there. So now here's the deal. Now I'm going to play this and, and see how this sounds. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing there right in front of my Okay, so for some reason, I'm noticing that my words are moving. I'm going to go to preview and see if it does it on there. Too. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. There. Uh, okay, so so I can tell it's doing that because of the theme that I've chosen. So I said this before, you might have to change your theme as you go through. So that theme, oh, see, my fault. See, if I hover over this, you can see it makes the words pop back and forth. That's really kind of annoying to me. So I can see it doesn't do that on this one. So what it'll show you if you hover over it is it'll show you the transition and it'll show you the font and it'll show you what the words do. So I'm going to click this one. And that's my fault for not seeing that earlier. And I'm I'm totally fine with this. I can I can still change some stuff. So like if I want to change the text or the font, I can do that. Um, to be honest, though, I'm not really liking this that much. So I'm going to try a different one. Okay, so this is fine for now. If I had more time, I would obviously I would I would choose something that I really like. But this is fine because I'm just showing you the basics right now. So let's play this. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing there right in front of. So you see how it, it cuts off it. So what it's what it's doing now is it's saying you don't have enough time on this slide. Like you need to add more time. So this is where where the most time is going to have to be dedicated for you guys. You have to kind of figure out how much time you need. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to assume I need about. I don't know, maybe 11 seconds. So I can either play it from here or I can preview it and move it forward to that spot. I, I like I like doing the preview mode because then I can go back and forth and I can move it like forward this. and backward. Whereas with this one, if I press play, it I can't do that. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Right, so I just have to wait through it. So I'd rather go to preview and Walking go forward. Walking but never had I seen something like this. As I... Okay, so that was perfect timing. So, and now these credits, I don't want these, so I'm gonna click here and hide credits. So now what I'm gonna do actually is instead of making new slides every time, this is kind of how I want the rest of my book to, to roll out. So I'm gonna click these three dots here and I'm gonna click duplicate. And now obviously you're, you know, you're probably thinking, well, but you don't want the same exact thing. That's right, I don't. So I'm gonna go here and now I'm gonna copy this next paragraph and I'm going to click here and I'm going to paste my new stuff in and boom, we're good to go. So now here I want to um, do a different photo. So I'm going to click here, upload photo. Now I can do one of my other illustrations. Okay. So, um, so there we go. So now let's play it and see how the time goes. Stood his ground at the top of the hill. In that moment, it felt like he knew all of the world's secrets. Okay, so you can see this paragraph is a little bit longer than the last one, so I'm going to need some more time. So I'm going to es estimate I need about 15 seconds. Let's try that again. Everything that any man, woman, or animal would ever need to know. Okay, so that's pretty, pretty good, actually, I think. So now at this point, um, I can duplicate again, and I'm just going to keep going. Um throughout my whole story. Now, let me show you something. So this paragraph is pretty long. When I go to my text here, you'll see when I start typing stuff in, oh, actually it's not showing that. So let me try to paste this whole thing in. It should start at, um, it should start at and and end at it, but let's see what happens. See, it cuts me off. So you see down here, it's showing this zero. That's how many characters I have left. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to probably have to stop at um, of course or something. Maybe I'll stop it at of course. And I'm going to just delete this part because I can't get the rest of it on there. So then on the next slide, then I'll start from of course and probably finish off this next paragraph or something like that. 
Now, if on this next, you know, like on this slide, if I want to keep going, um, you know, from here to here with the same picture, that's totally fine. You can do that. Um, let me just show you in case you're not wanting to do the split screen thing, how that works. So let's say I said, um, the last thing I want okay, ever need to know, and then uh, body over the side of the cliff. Okay, so this is going to be the next part. So then what I can do is instead of doing duplicate, I'm going to do plus, and then I'm going to click on full screen. And I'm just going to click plus and text, and then I can just add that in. So you can do some slides that are like this too. Um, let me just show you another another way of doing this as well, just in case you want to know, because maybe some of you guys take a video, which, you know, if you do a video, um, it shouldn't be super distracting. Like it shouldn't be like, blah, blah, like being all crazy. No one wants to see that. Nobody, nobody. Um, it should go along with your story. So I'll click plus. And then for this one, what I could do is I can do, Ooh, this is cool. I haven't actually tried this. I'll do a video. So, um, do I have a video though? Hmm. Okay. I don't think I have a buck video. I don't know. I have this random video. It's obviously not of a buck, but let me just show put it in there just to show you how it works. So I'll do the whole thing and I'll do save. So I'm just showing you like in, if you have a video of something that you recorded that goes along with your story, then that's, that's what this is. Obviously this is a random video. I didn't have a buck one lined up. So what I can do now though is do uh, add text and I can add in that next thing and then it should play this all together. So let's see. That to happen was because I wanted to survive, but I'm not ashamed to tell you that I had a fresh container of cookie dough ice cream waiting at home for me. Okay, so it's a little, it's a little choppy right now just cause I'm, I'm doing so much all at the same time. But basically when I download this video, that's gonna be really smooth in the background. So you could do that. Another thing that you could do instead, if or with the video, is you could do the split screen. So instead of having a, a photo or illustration, um, you could do video. You could do that same thing where you put on the video on one side. You're gonna to have to drag it to show how much you want of the video. It's gonna do this again. And then um, once this has processed, then what you're going to do is on the right side, you go in to um, copy uh, or add your text, and then you put that in there. It'll do that same thing where it'll play the video on one side, show the text on the other side. Um, so anything else that I should be mentioning to you? Um... Sorry, my mind is, I don't think that there is anything major other than the fact that um, when you are working on a project, it will auto save. So right right now, um, this, this is my most recent video. So uh, if I want here, I can rename this. So um, Mr. Bishop's story. Oh, it, I don't think it likes the apostrophe. Mr. Bishop's story. And then I can click enter. And then anytime I want to go back in here, I just edit it. And then it'll take me right back in. Oh, I remembered what I was going to say. Okay, so you know how if you're copying your text and putting it in, um, we're all human, right? We're prone to making mistakes. So what you're going to want to do before you save your file or before you download your video altogether is you're going to want to go through each slide and check it with your story. Maybe even read it out loud and just make sure that it makes sense to you and you have everything. Once you're done and you've checked through and everything is exactly where you want it to be and it's good to go. Oh, um, hold on, sorry. You'll click download, but one, one last thing. At the very end, you should make a slide that is just a, um, yeah, like full screen slide, that's fine. And then just do a text and um, just say something like, um, you know, story, audio book, illustrations, and video all done by, and say your name. 
right? And if you want to, then, you know, again, you can go in here and you can add in a photo, find free photos. I might do one more forest one, um, something like that. Let's find another one. Just because you want to you want to make sure that you're giving yourself that credit. So I'll put this in there and then that will go in my background. Good to go. Super awesome. And then you can set the time on that as well. Okay. So um, assuming that you have all, you know, you have all of your text in there, then that's going to go all the way up to the end of your audiobook. So then once you're done, then you click this download button. And it's super cool because it's really easy. Um, however, it will take a little bit of time to process because there's all the files, all the video, picture, audiobook, all that stuff, text, all that stuff together. So it's going to take a little bit of time to process through and then, um, and then you'll be able to download it. I know you guys don't want to wait through this though, so I'm going to make it go even faster. And done. Okay, so now you can see it's downloading down here. And then I will be able to um, open this up. This is what you'll submit to me on Google Classroom. Um, but I'll be able to open it up and double click it. It should play. Play. Walking with my thought by Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. Okay, hold on a second, there... it's got cut off. Okay, so this is what it'll look like. Walking with my thoughts by Mr. Bishop. I really couldn't believe what I was seeing. See how smooth that is? There, right in front of my eyes, was a majestic buck. I had walked this trail hundreds of times before, but never had I seen something like this. As I stood there, the buck stood his ground at the top of the hill, looking directly into my eyes. Okay, right, so you get the idea. So I actually made um, a full version of this, which I submitted on Google Classroom. And so let's see, where is that? Um, I think maybe it's this one. Walking with my thoughts. Around this so yeah, I did, I did my whole story. So if you kind of want to see my whole example, then you can do that. I recommend that when you make these, you do it with the text. So it kind of reads like a book. I think that's a really cool way of doing it. Um, so, but you know, just kind of think about that a little bit. So that's all of the basics, everybody. Um, I don't think I missed anything. Um, so again, we have a couple days to work on this. So, uh, feel free to email me. Um, and, and if you want to meet over zoom, we can do that too. Um, but that's the basics of how to make your own audiobook video with Adobe Spark. All right. Well, looking forward to seeing your guys' work and have fun today and tomorrow. Goodbye.